بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف نائنتھ کلاس السلام علیکم ہیئر آئی ایم یور ٹیچر آف انگلش غلام فاروق ٹوڈے وی آر گونا اسٹڈی کامپریہنشن پیسجز نمبر نائن اینڈ ٹین فار بیٹر کامپریہنشن یو آر ریکوائر ٹو کیپ یور بکس اوپنڈ وائل واچنگ اینڈ لسننگ ٹو دا لیکچر Dear students, uh, there are a few words in these passages you need to consult the dictionary for so that we can discuss their meanings and implications in our Google Meet class. Now let's start from the passage number 9. I'm going to read for you. In December 1930, Dr. Muhammad Allama Iqbal was invited to to preside over the annual meeting of the All India Muslim League at Allahabad. In his address, he openly opposed the idea of power sharing together of Hindus and Muslims as one nation. He declared that the move to apply one constitution to both the Hindus and the Muslims would result in a civil war. He wanted to see the Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan and the NWFP a single state for the Muslims so that they should live according to the teachings of Islam. We can say that Allama Iqbal was the first thinker to give us the idea of a separate homeland for the Muslims of India. Partition of the subcontinent into two sovereign states. The Muslims soon realized the importance of the demand for two separate states. It was then the Pakistan resolution was adopted in 1940. Now question number one, where was annual meeting of the All India Muslim League held in 1930? Answer number one, it was held in Allahabad. Question number two, who was invited to preside over the session? Answer number two, Allama Iqbal was invited to preside over the session. Question number three. What idea did Allama Iqbal oppose? Answer number three. He opposed the idea of power sharing of the Hindus and the Muslims together as one nation. Question number four. Which provinces did he want to include in the Muslim state? Answer number four. He wanted to see the Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan and the NWFP as a single state for the Muslims. Question number five. On what grounds did he demand a separate state for the Muslims of India? Answer number five. He demanded a separate state for the Muslims of India so that they might live according to the teachings of Islam. Question number six. When was the Pakistan resolution moved? Answer number six. The Pakistan resolution was moved in 1940. Let's read uh, passage number 10. The Indian National Congress was founded in 1885 by a liberal Englishman, Mr. A. O. Hume. He had joined the Indian Civil Service in 1849 and retired from a service after shouldering different responsibilities. He had been watching the law and order situation in the country quite frequently. He was of the opinion that the high-handed rule of the Britishers 
was paving way for any unexpected outburst of violence. Plan was to put a safety valve to minimize the mounting sentiments against the British rule. It was uh, meant to provide an outlet which could ventilate the revolutionary spirit. Mr. Hume put his plan before Lord Dufferin. This was the passage number 10. Now questions and answers of uh, this passage. Question number 1. Who founded the Indian National Congress? Answer number 1. Mr. A. O. Hume founded the Indian National Congress. Question number 2. Who was Mr. A. O. Hume? Answer number 2. He was a liberal Englishman. He joined the Indian Civil Service in 1849. Question number 3. When was the Indian National Congress founded? Answer number 3. The Indian National Congress was founded in 1885. Question number 4. Why did Hume think of founding this political organization? Answer number 4. He thought so to put a safety valve to minimize the mounting sentiments against the British rule. Now question number 5. With whom did he discuss his plan? Answer number 5. He discussed his plan with Lord Dufferin. Students, now you should mark a few words to look up in the dictionary. The words are preside over constitution sovereign states high-handed paving way mounting sentiments ventilate outlet revolutionary spirit outburst see you in the google meet class inshallah now stay home stay safe Allah Hafiz.